Dear women, stop doing wife duties for your boyfriend. Stop giving your boyfriend's husband benefits. Your boyfriend is not your husband. It is because a lot of you women give so much in a relationship. That is why you monetize everything you do for a man. Making it look as if a man is owing you salary. Women. There are things you should not do for your boyfriend. Now let me tutor you in this relationship. Drag your ear. If you are doing anything, drop what you are doing. And drag your ear to pay attention. If you are a woman, listen to this video. Things you should never do for a boyfriend. Boyfriend is different from husband. Number one thing you should never do for a boyfriend is to live with a boyfriend. Stop packing your load to go and live with your boyfriend. The moment what is called see finish enter any relationship, that relationship is damaged. Stop living with your boyfriend because the moment you pack and live with your boyfriend, it is wife duty. You have to wake up in the morning, wash, clean, brush his teeth, comb his hair, clean his house. You see yourself doing wife duty. The only thing you should go and do is go and visit your boyfriend once in a while. Make yourself scarce so that he's not going to see you finish. Give him something to long for. That is why when you are in a relationship, you'll be giving a man small, small, small. It is called longer throat. When you make him long for you, that's what will make him want to marry so that he can see more. But no, you will go there and give everything. Now, what do you want the man to long for in marriage? What is supposed to excite him when he marries you? Please, stop packing your load to go and live with a man. Even if you have accommodation problem, sleep under the bridge. Mm, number two, hmm. stop having sex without protection. If you're in a relationship with a boy or a man that is not married to you and you decide to want to have sex, since the Bible says we should not fornicate, but I know that if I tell you not to have sex now, I'll be deceiving myself. If you choose to want to have sexual intercourse before marriage, stop having sex in your relationship without protection. Exactly. No man is going to marry any woman that is damaged you. By the time they shift your womb, remove your wound, educate your wound, damage your womb, they are not going to marry you. Any man that genuinely loves you is going to look out for your future. That is how you know the difference between a real man and a fuck boy. He will be thinking ahead of you because if he wants to make you the mother of his um, child, he will not damage your womb. Stop having sex without protection in your relationship until the man marry you. You will not hear. Sex will not make a man to marry you. You that is listening to this video, all those your doggy style, cat style, Kelly Mandoro style, hunger style, you've been giving the man. Has he married you? Has he proposed to you? Sex is not the way to a man's heart. I have told you this thing before. No matter the kind of style, acrobatic, you want to whine like a snack, he will not still marry you. A man will end up sleeping, sleeping with you in the rest of the relationship and go and marry a woman that he hardly even sleep with. Have you not seen where a man wants you to be sleeping with you like a prostitute, but when he wants to marry, he's looking for virgin? Oh, who is a virgin? A virgin is that woman that has not had sex. Even if, if a man is not looking for a virgin, when a man wants to get married, he's looking for a good girl. He's looking for a responsible girl. He's looking for a reserved girl. Oh, you that was busy spreading your leg like bed sheets. How far? Ndi wardrobe. Keep spreading yourself. When you are in a relationship, don't give your all. Where you give your all is in marriage. And the reason why you give your all in marriage is because you are committed to somebody. Somebody have taken a step to commitment telling you, I want to keep you. Because marriage simply means I want to keep you. Relationship simply means I want to know you. You should not go and start giving your all just to somebody that wants to know you. What if they get to know you and they don't like you? Because relationship is knowing you, not marrying you. So you need to be able to understand these things and don't go there giving your all, spreading your leg, doing wife duty and thinking that, oh, when I do all these things, the man is going to marry me. No, a man will marry you if he wants to marry you. All those things you're doing will not make the man to marry you. So leave a little bit of something to yourself. Let, him, let, him, let there be something about you that he wants to have, that he wants to own. But when you go there and give all these things for free, how do you want him to value it? Things that are free don't have value. That's the honest truth. And when you give this thing for free, the man begins to think that you are desperate.
Keep some things to yourself. There should be some mystery about you that people want to get to know. That's what makes marriage and marrying you interesting as a woman. Number three, don't you ever do a man's laundry when you're not married to him. As a relationship therapist, I'm telling you that is a taboo. Taboo, yes! To go and be washing your boyfriend's clothes when he's not married to you. That's not your work. You can only do that for your husband. Yes! Let him take his clothes to the laundry, but let him wash his clothes by yourself. I repeat, don't you ever wash a man's clothes if you're not married to him. Don't do laundry for a man. Don't do it. You will not hear. If you like, go there and be bending and be washing clothes. <laughs> uh, they'll say, well done. Let him take his clothes to the laundry or let him do his laundry himself. It shows you how clean the man is. If he does not want to wash his clothes, he should stay now. You went there for visitation. And when you go to visit your boyfriend, you go and relax, not to walk. Number four, Chef Chioma, Chef Neka, Chef Nkechi. I know you like to cook. <laughs> I know your mother trained you well. And when you go to see your boyfriend, you want to show your cooking skills, your wife material skills. Cook for your boyfriend once in a while. In fact, once in a blue moon. Once in a while. That's when you go to your boyfriend's house and cook. Maybe once in a while you go to his house, you make indomie, you make spaghetti. Don't even make soup. What are you making soup for? You are making bitter leaf. You are pounding, come, come, come. You are making afang soup. You are trying. You don't need all that. You don't need to do all that. Cook once in a while. If you're somebody that enjoys cooking, you can go there, cook once in a while, and put small plate of soup for him in the freezer. Don't go there and cook custard bucket. Because if you cook that custard bucket and keep, another woman will come and dish it and microwave it and eat. Stop cooking every time. You're not a chef. Small cookie. Make him understand that you can cook. Not a chef. Until he marry you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Some people come and say, but blessing, if I don't cook, what are we going to eat? Since I went there to visit him, my darling, that is why I said visit. Visit simply means you are not living there. You are staying there short term. Go for weekend. Go Friday. Go back on Sunday. It simply means you just have a day or two. You can make indomie now. You can make spaghetti. You can make small sauce. It is because you live there. That's why you have turned to a chef. If you don't live with your boyfriend and you're going for a short visit, why do you need to cook? When you even go to visit your boyfriend, that short visit, he even wants to take you for a treat. He even wants you to relax. He say, baby, let's eat out. Let's do this. Once in a while, you just be doing small, small fry. Fry, maybe in the morning, you fry yam, you drink complex and all that. You don't even need all those things. So you don't even need to go and be cooking. Most of you that go there and go and cook are those of you who live with a man. If you're not living with a man, what are you cooking for? Except you love your boyfriend so much and you want to cook something and put for him in the deep freezer. Which most men will not even eat because most men do not even have time to microwave it. If you cook all this food, you're cooking it for the other girl that will come and warm and chop the honest truth. Food is not the way to a man's heart though. That one is old school. Unlearn that rubbish. Food has nothing to do with a man's heart. See a man's mouth here. This is where food used to enter. See his heart here. So I don't see the connection between mouth and heart. So, be warned. Don't think that when you go there and cook, 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 the man is going to love you. There are some men that don't even like food. These days, we have a lot of chefs. You can eat food. is the cheapest thing you can get anywhere safe. So, don't come and say, oh, because a woman should know how to cook. But it is not a priority that, oh, I have to cook before a man marry me. Change that mindset. The world has gone global. The world has gone what? Global. So, women, stop giving everything in a relationship. When you give everything in a relationship, there will be nothing for you to give in marriage. There will be nothing exciting. There will be nothing sweet. That's why some of you, sometimes when you enter the marriage, you are tired. Some people are entering marriage one month later, they are tired. Why? Because you have exhausted all your energy in the relationship. You've given everything. Number five, do not ever have any business with your boyfriend's relation mother brother sister cousin auntie uncle until he is committed to you when you go and start mingling with your boyfriend's relation you look stupid so you, you think you want to get to know no the only time you have a business with your boyfriend's relation is when he commits you that's when you have a business because let me tell you something <laughs> you see all the things you are doing they know his other girlfriends so when you go and start mingling with the relations and the parents you are looking stupid because they already see you as a loose girl. Let me tell you something. The common African parents see a woman as a loose woman when you are sleeping with their son and he's not committed to you. Hmm. I'm telling you this out of experience. Keep to the guy. Let him just be your boyfriend. You are just doing boyfriend and girlfriend, getting to know each other. Until he is sure that he wants to commit to you. That is when you have a business with his family members. Don't go. 
I have told you, if you like, go there and go and be doing Mommy, mommy, you are thinking that when you go and be doing mommy, and be washing her clothes, and be calling her, and be sending her recharge card, her son will marry you. All those ones is rubbish. Is another girl also doing mommy, mommy, mommy. You people need to understand the stuff. You people need to understand the stuff. Just understand the stuff. It's relationship. It's not that deep. It's relationship. The only way you take it forward is when a man engages you. He commits to you and shows you that I want to marry you. I don't know what you're going to do with his family members. You know, you want to pay the cousin's school fees. You want to pay the auntie's school fees. Are you married to him? That's the reason why when a man dumps you, when a man says he's not doing again, that's the reason why a lot of women are always bittered. Do you know the reason why women are always angry with men? Women are always angry with men because you give too much. Then when the man says he's not doing it again, you want to kill him. You want to kill yourself. After everything I did for you, he did not do anything for him. Stop giving so much. Keep some Keep to yourself. Let me quickly share an experience with you. I was that young girl also when I was 17 that I went to go and live with a man. Hmm. At 17 years old. I was living with my ex-husband. Every time the sisters would be eyeing me in their family compound. The mother would be eyeing me. One day the sisters even used to insult me. What do you always do for my brother room? The mother even told me one day, wait, make my PK marry you. Every time you go, they crawl like snake inside in room. I am telling you the honest truth. And I knew the battle it took before my ex even married me. Last, last, the marriage was still work, <laughs> I was lucky that he married me. But I knew the insult I got, the grumbling. The mother even said one day that I'm too loose. That why would I pack and come and live with a man? Don't I have um, a parents? Don't my parents talk to me? So that's the honest truth. So don't ever think that getting close to your boyfriend's family will make them see you differently no you look stupid because you're not married to the man they see you like every normal loose girl i do not have parents yes so keep to him until ready, ready to, to marry you keep to him until he's ready to marry you it's just a relationship it's not that deep i thought i should make this video because a lot of young girls have made these mistakes and that's why relationship is so hard for you some of you look at you you that is watching this video look at you looking older than your age some of you are 18, you are looking 50. Some of you are 20, you are looking 100. Some of you are 30, you are looking 120 years. Why? Because you, the things you've done in relationship, eh? My darling, I don't know what you want to go and do in marriage. You put in so much effort just because you want a man to marry. All those things you're doing will not make a man marry. You don't need to do too much for a man to marry. You just need to be yourself. A man is going to marry you because you do things effortlessly. Because when you do too much, it simply means you are pretending. Do things because you want to do them. Do things because it's you. Do things because you love to do them. So that even when the relationship do not work, you will not be a bitter person. You will know that you did it willingly, not by force.